This beautiful home of Dan Winters and Valerie's. And, and Dan's just been trying to explain to me the issue of power factor and, and why the power factor is so important in uh, analyzing the power savings of these Magrav devices. Can you just explain to me again uh, exec exactly what is the power factor and why it's uh, Important. Let me, let me start with the definition of power factor by telling about how Bentoff measured Kundalini. Mm. He was measuring whether the, um, the timing of your heart's voltage firing came in phase, locked in time, with the blood pressure peak. So if the time of the pressure peak which is your body, remember, is he said like a sack of peaches. Yeah. So the natural blood pressure resonant frequencies of your body is called the Mayer wave, 0.1 hertz, the LF. Now, if the resonant peak of your blood pressure is in phase with the electrical peak of your heart's firing, mm. that's how he measured extreme relaxation. Ah. Let's call it power factor. Now, remember yeah. what we're talking about. We're part, talking about the phase relationship in a wave the phase is the timing of the peak of the wave, yeah. between the pressure peak, which yeah. in electrical terms is named voltage, yeah. versus the flow peak, which in the body is blood, blood pressure, and yeah. in electrical terms that's called amperage. Yeah. So if the amperage peak in the flow, which is yeah. in, in your wires or your hoses or your wires, is not in phase, yeah. that, so you measure that in electrical engineering to determine the efficiency because it's actually is the flow rate called amperage times the vo pressure rate called voltage, yeah. which equals wattage, which is called the amount of work you got done. Yeah. So mm -hmm. the famous story is that there's a whole group of investors who just stuck their million bucks into the the, the, the Tom Bearden device, and they said, oh, we just measured, we had all this wattage, oh, isn't it great? And they messed with their million bucks. And then they got down there and said, oh, we forgot to measure power factor, and they wasted their million bucks because they didn't know how to evaluate the energy out of the devices. Now, one mm. of the things that monoatomic coating on a, a wire does is affect the power factor. Right, right, right. So if you want to actually know how much work you got done, and you're trying to measure success, if you don't evaluate for power factor, then in fact the investors all wasted their money. And it's ironic that power factor is actually how you measure success and measure Kundalini, extreme relaxation in the body, the same way you measure it in an electrical circuit. For example, if, if you have an electric motor, an induction motor, it because the coil so much brings back the power factor out of phase yeah. that you waste a lot of money in your electric bill. So much so that you install capacitors called power factor correction capacitors to save that money again, to bring the two back into phase. So if you don't measure power factor when you're evaluating the wattage output of your coil, yeah. you in fact are you're, it's a guaranteed way to invest to waste your investor's money and not invest in your electric bill. So do most per, most houses have power factor correction capacitors? It, um, s small houses generally, no. Any large business that uses lots of induction motors yeah. almost always, in pretty big, has power factor correction capacitors. Otherwise, they're wasting huge chunks of their electric bill. Because mm -hmm. basically, the ability of your wire to deliver power to yeah. do it efficiently, the amperage peak has to be in phase, locked in timing with the voltage peak. Otherwise, yeah. there, all that energy is wasted. Mm. So power factor is not only just a metaphor for human beings' efficiency, but all the electric grid, which is the delivery of work, work done, which is wattage. So that's really interesting. And, um, and with your new device, the uh, device the, with the iThrive devices, so you can actually measure those those uh, electrical yes, peaks and, 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 the, and, and the pressure peaks, that, right? That's the genius, actually, iThrive.com. Mm. In major respect, due to our programmer, Patrick mm. Bakke, who is a sacrocranial expert and a yeah. t t tomatis expert, that he found a way in the software, because obviously when you're measuring a pulse like this with yeah. a transducer like the finger plethysmogram, for example, yeah. Yeah. Um, you've got the short wave, which is the pulse itself with, yeah. with the light penetrance measuring, yeah. and then you get this longer wave on mm. the wave of yeah. the peak, which is called yeah. the wave on the wave waving or embedding, yeah. which is actually the geometry of the pressure wave. Yeah. And when the body's relaxed, that wave will be at 0.1 hertz, which is both the LF peak of the HRV and the, mm. the most famous Mayer wave, 
which is the essence of the natural relaxed resonant frequency of the blood pressure in the body like a can of peaches, yeah. as Ben Toff called it. So the phase relationship between the blood pressure yeah. and the voltage peak is actually the way we measure stress. And if you can measure stress, you got the world by the tail, man. Every corporate executive on the planet wants to, and we now do. That's the breakthrough. And it's called iThrive.com, I-T-H-R-V-E.com, the new stress management software. So basically, what you're defining stress as being uh, out of um, uh, the electrical pulse and the, and, the, and the heart rate pulse being out of phase. That's right. The pressure, with the pressure peak is out of phase with the electrical peak yeah. called power factor. That's yeah. how you measure relaxation versus stress. And extreme mm. relaxation is precisely that synchrony of bringing them into phase. And you become a powerful factor. <laughs> so what you're saying also with the, you know, with these, uh, the nano coating process, like, um, you know, that's like kind of like, um, it makes the wire into a superconductor, like with no heat. And, um, so that could conceivably improve the power factor, right, by using that. Yeah? That's, it's, it, it has superconductive qualities, and when, they, when the inductance becomes recursive, when the resonance actually becomes recursive or implosive, yeah. you know, the dielectric goes way up, power factor goes down, and you have to, you, it's that correction that actually, in fact, yeah. if, you, if you read implosionamp.com, which is our, you know, perfect implosive resonance transformer project, it is precisely about transformers whose reactance and power factor goes to implosion. Perfect recursion in the resonance. Basically, implosive resonance, and that's where you get zero point coherence. So the possibility is there. But if you don't know what power factor is, you cannot possibly optimize. Yeah. Uh, that, what did you say? Implosion? Implosionamp.com amp? is our international project yeah. Yeah. to develop this yeah. perfect recursion and amplification. Yeah. It's basically it, you know, a zero point energy coherence because the inductive capacitance tank circuit yeah. internal resonance goes yeah. perfect recursion and therefore yeah. implosive okay so yeah um so this could explain um to me i mean there's no doubt in my mind there's, there's many many reports of people building these magro devices and they're getting variable kind of savings as calculated by the power bills they're getting you know as compared to same time last year sort of thing you know and up to even 50% in some cases, but some people are not getting anything, you know. Well, the thing and, was... And yet they're using the same kind of, like, um, uh, blueprints, well, but, uh, some, the, but some of them might be getting, like, more coils on the copper wire. Well, plus... And the, so that seems like... Because you, what you're talking about is, like, you've got this nano-coated copper wire made into coils... Well, and, and that is going to create inductive reactance, which is going to create recursive resonance and possible implosion. But the ability of this to work depends on what's called impedance matching with the load. In other words, the resonance between the load and the coil has to go perfectly recursive and implosive in order to cohere the vacuum. Well, you're not going to be able to tune that and do it unless you can measure that. Mm. So you're going to need to you, basically a watt meter that measures power factor yeah. between that and the same load with and without the coil, and then suddenly you'll have a little bit of what's called science, which yeah. is replicability. So saying, people saying if they saved a few cents on their power bill is never going to mean anything to anyone. What's going to mean something is identical loads yeah. with and without the coil with a power factor corrected watt meter. That's yeah. going to mean something. Uh, and that's going to tell you how to optimize. And that's also going to inform you that the impedance matching to the load, so the resonance is actually recursive, actually works. So yeah. all of this requires at least some basic knowledge of electrical engineering. There's no substitute. Yeah. All right. Okay, well, I'll, uh, I'll call you on that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but it's, it's wonderful because it gets people thinking. And when you understand the science of power factor in electrical circuits, the yeah. phase lock between the amperage flow and the voltage flow, which is volt yeah. pressure versus yeah. volt pre pressure versus flow, suddenly yeah. you can understand what's happening in your blood veins and how yeah. to measure relaxation versus stress. Yeah, it's that a is a beautiful metaphor. That is fascinating. iThrive.com. Ithrive okay. All right. I T H R V E. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very okay. much, sir. Yeah.